We are going to show you how hemp fabric is processed and made from start to finish in the Hmong villages of northern Vietnam. These products are beautifully handcrafted. The work, time and effort that goes into the process is admirable. To see how we get from the hemp plant to the end product, be sure to stick around right until the end of this video. How do they make it from the plants? How do they get it from... First step, they take... You need to come here. On our third day of the Ha Zang Loop in North Vietnam, we stopped by at a small local hemp workshop in a tiny Hmong village. It was so fascinating to see how the locals live and create their fabrics using handmade methods and processes. She will be introduce everything in her workshop for you. Step one is harvesting the hemp. When harvesting the hemp, it must be dry and sunny, otherwise the hemp will not be strong enough and it may break. Step two, dry out the hemp. The hemp is hung up and dried out for about one week, and then the fibres are stripped one by one from the stems. The strands are then collected and bunched together. Cheese Step three, improving flexibility. Uh, do you want to try? Okay. <laughs> the fibers are pounded using a big wooden stick to help improve their flexibility. So after this bit, we'll connect. Step four, connecting the fibers. They then wrap the strands around their wrist and start connecting the fibers by twisting them together. Step five, increasing the thread count. The fibres then go through a complex procedure of spinning on a special spinning machine to prepare threads of about four thread counts of fibres. So what's yeah. it? Is it oh, it's going around around this bit here? Yeah, I really like fiber. It's different. So that's what it's like before, and then yes, it's... after. Step six. She then takes the fiber and she dips it in some water and places it on this spinning-like machine where it is stretched out and dried. Step 7. Bleaching. The threads are then boiled many times with water that is mixed with ash to bleach them, with one boiling also including beeswax to help with the bleaching process. Look at how much there is there, like, that they've made. And then all that probably just goes, like, a couple t-shirts. Or is that quite a lot? That's a lot. Yeah, that would have taken days. More. More? Yeah, of course. Weeks? Yeah. Oh my god. How long did you sit in the spring for? For three or four days they boil. Yeah. Yeah. It already been boiled. Now we just take it off. And it's not drying yet. Yeah, dry. So the threads then get put back onto the large spinning wheel, like this one here. So it's gone like white now, isn't it? It's like white. Yeah. It's not as green anymore. Softer, isn't it? Softer. Step eight. We didn't get to see this part, but the next step is to take the fiber from the spinning machine and separate the threads one by one using a special comb and roll it onto a spool ready for weaving. It's clever, isn't it? Step nine, the weaving process. Next, she uses a shuttle loaded with hemp thread and then she starts to weave. She moves the shuttle from side to side adding a layer of hemp each time. And this creates the woven pattern. 
Oh, is that? Oh, it's in that thing. In, that. in the roller. Pushing it down. Uh, each line. Oh, line. That's unbelievable. Step ten: flattening. Oh my gosh, I'm standing on it. Oh, that's mental. I feel like I've just gone back in time. Back in time? Yeah. I did not know this who did this. The woven fibres need to be flattened further under the weight of a seesaw style millstone. This technique consists of the woman surfing a stone tablet back and forth over the fabric. This process flattens the fabric and makes it much softer. It's really scary. If you're missing one step, yeah. it's my break your leg yeah oh my god it's because uh, there's a rock heavy? heavy rock it's just Real a rock from out in there it's just a heavy rock from the mountain yes you, you can see the weight of it look, look. Come, 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 come on again do you see how she turned the rock up and then keep going oh my god look at that you can touch to see how how heavy you can feel by your hand Lift the rock up. The rock or this? Up. No, fabric. And you touch yeah. here, you touch here, here, and then touch here. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah, much softer. Oh, it, 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 um, oh, it like, yeah. Um, it flattens it. Yeah, flattens it. Yeah. yeah. It's cool, mm. isn't it? Yeah, look at that rock. It's Jesus. You <laughs> can't even lift that rock. Yeah, no, like, I mean, that's that's good. Good. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, heavy. I can't, but it's heavy. Um, She's just so skateboarding on there. Mm. Step 11. Making the design. In this step, they use beeswax to create a pattern on the fabric. To do this, beeswax is melted and a small tool is used to dip in the melted beeswax and transfer it onto the fabric. Wait, why? So this is beeswax and then they draw it on. The bed it it on. With beeswax? Yeah. Is this beeswax? Yes, this is. But we, they need to cook this. It, it needs to be soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Melt it. After oh. this, they were going to dye color blue, yellow, or red. Ah. Yeah. Is that beeswax? Yes. No, no. no. Up, after they dye color, they wash the wax away. <laughs> so the, the, the way they draw the wax, color is still white. Oh. And where no, no wax, white will turn to other. Okay. The color will stick on their fabric. It stains, basically. Yeah, stains. Yeah. yeah. Is her skirt made out of um, yeah, yeah. hemp? Yeah, it's all yeah. hemp. Can I feel it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it soft? Mm -hmm. It's softer than the ones in there. Yeah. It's soft. That's cool, that is. <laughs> so that is the process from start to finish of how they make the hemp fabric. The next stage would be actually putting the fabric together and making clothes, purses, bags and all sorts of different products out of it. So they took us next door into their shop and showed us the beautiful products that they'd made. Are you buying so? A purse. Buying a purse for our money. Very cool. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different to our normal style. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more travel videos. Bye!